Go back sports fans, Marvin James here in the International City doing a little bit of high school football coverage plus some softball action. But I wanted to first give you a little insight on some national awards going to some college football players from right here in the Peach State. Georgia Southern Eagles six-year quarterback Kyle Van Trees had a game for the record books, earning the Sun Belt's Offensive Player of the Week. Georgia Southern went into Lincoln, Nebraska and took down the Cornhuskers 45-42 behind 642 yards of total offense. The Buffalo transfer completed 37 of 56 passes for 409 yards and a touchdown before diving into the end zone with the game winner with 36 seconds to play. Dan Treese's 56 attempts tied the program record while his 37 completions and 409 yards passing were the second most in program history. With the performance, Van Treese became the first Georgia Southern quarterback to post back-to-back 300-yard -back passing games. App State Marshall and Georgia Southern closed a memorable Saturday for the Sun Belt Conference after those three epic upsets and for the first time in 21 seasons, the Football Writers Association of America have awarded all three schools in the Cheez-It Bowl National Team of the Week honor for games of the weekend up September 10th. And a little closer to home, Fort Valley State has a few honorees from their successful weekend of play as well. Wildcats freshman Rodney Williams Jr. kicked a 28-yard field goal with 11:32 in the third quarter which turned out to be the game winner for the Blue and Gold over Kentucky State, 9-7. He also punted three times for 112 yards and averaged 37.3 per punt, with his longest being 43 yards to earn SIAC Special Team Player of the Week honors. His teammate and fellow freshman Adion Farmer improved mightily from Week 1 to Week 2, helping his team to limit the KSU offense of 170 yards of total offense in only 47 plays. Farmer posted 10 tackles and one tackle for loss in his second Fort Valley State defensive effort in comparison to his three tackles in his debut versus Tuskegee. The Wildcats held the thoroughbred to only one score, and Farmer has been recognized as the conference newcomer of the week. Now the Wildcats' Kelvin Durham and Peach County's Tim Alderman also received honorable mention for their play as well. Coming up tonight at 11, we'll have softball action, highlight scores, and more, so you don't want to miss that. Reporting for Warner Robins, Marvin James, 13 WMAZ Sports.